Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague, Social Media Director with Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh. Please give us a try for your next Toyota purchase, whether you're in the North Carolina area or a different state. We promise it'll be a truly exceptional experience from wherever you are. Today we're going to learn about how to use the Toyota Smart Key, how it can benefit you and your vehicle. Many of you already use that in your current vehicles, so we'll call this a refresher course. Maybe you'll pick up one or two things. but. If you're used to using the traditional Toyota key, this will be a lifesaver. Today we're gonna to try out the smart key on the 2020 Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium. RAV4 is the best-selling SUV in the country, also the best-selling hybrid. So we'll lock it up, and just like when you get in your car with the traditional key, you hit the lock and unlock. So you can do that also with the smart key. There's lock, unlock, there's the back hatch, and then hold that down for a panic button but just put the key in your pants pocket your purse anything like that walk up to the car and you'll hear beep beep that means it's unlocked there you go and for safety sake it only unlocks the driver door that way no suspicious characters can jump into the passenger side because it opened from that function saying get in let's drive any type of bad nightmarish situation, so it's also a safety thing. Now imagine it's a dark parking lot, you've just left a store or your work and you're going to your car. The last thing you wanna do, especially if it's a neighborhood you're unfamiliar with, is taking time to fumble for your keys and, and see where they were. Instead, just walk up to the car and unlock it. And the other really nice thing is, when you get out of your car and you're ready to lock it, all you do, put your hand on the two parallel lines here, one beep, and it's locked. Easy stuff. You didn't even need to get your keys out of your pocket or your purse. And when we're starting the vehicle, there are two different things you can do with the key. How about this RAV4 interior, guys? Beautiful. Now, you're going to have a push button start. So unlike a traditional key, there will be no key slot where you just put the key in, turn it, Remember, if you turn a key halfway, the radio comes on, it blows warm air, but it won't start. If you have your key turned all the way, it's going to start. So the smart key works in a similar fashion. If you do not have your foot on the brake pedal and push this, it says it's the accessory. So the radio will come on. If I push it again, it'll blow warm air but it will not start. So there are three steps to starting it. Have the key somewhere in the car, can still be in your pants pocket or your purse or out. Put your foot on the brake, just like that, and then we'll tap that button. And then it starts up. Another benefit to the smart key is you cannot lock your keys in the car unless the battery is completely dead. So we're gonna try it here. Key, throw it in there, lock it up, and then listen and watch. It beeps and all the doors unlock, so you cannot lock your keys in the car. Let's try it one more time. Locked, got you this time. Cannot do it. The smart key also works on the passenger side, so we'll lock it up here. Put the key in the pocket. Now if we open it up on the passenger front side, it's going to unlock all the doors. There, let's try that. Yep, it worked. And then we'll lock it. Really easy. It's great new technology. Nothing to be afraid of. It will help you. It's convenience. It's safety. Maybe you'll like it. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to leave a friendly comment. Please subscribe to the Fred Anderson Toyota YouTube channel. It'll be your ultimate source for Toyota how-to videos, how to service, how to maintain your vehicle, and also video reviews. So hit subscribe. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.